Welcome, welcome. Manuel Rodriguez here with you. Uh, this podcast is the Trumpeter's Podcast. Come on, somebody. We're here. We're going to talk about trumpet playing, about life, the soul, the spirit, things that we go through about trumpet players and what we face, um, daily lives, practice. You know what? If you're a trumpet player and you, if, if there's one thing for sure I will tell you, we got to practice. We all got to practice. So I'm just letting you know that it's important to give it your best shot, okay? Don't just lay around. You know, when you meet that horn and you and you touch it, you get it out of your case, or if it's just sitting on your stand, um, there's something, there's a connection that is going on. I want to talk to you uh, some philosophies about performance. One thing for sure, I mean, this is a bonus, there's six, but here's a bonus. For sure, you have to know the sound that you want. Do you want a round sound? Do you want a pointed sound? Do you want a weighted sound? What is the sound that you're looking for? I'm not talking about you wanting a sound like Freddie Hubbard or, or you know, Tom Harrell, uh, Chris Bodie. They're all great sounds, don't get me wrong. And I think that's good. But I think what's more important is what is it that you want? What's the sound that you're hearing in your head that's going through your mind about the sound that you hear as a trumpet player? Okay, it's that's very important that you understand. But I'm going to read a few things here for you uh, about the philosophy of performance for you as a trumpet player, and 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 a person. Okay, how a person practice, how you practice, how we practice has a great influence on how much and how easily one learns, okay? And so your attitude, your daily goals, uh, your concentration, even your physical uh, readiness, you know, if I'm not feeling good and I have to play, in other words, like right before performance, I have to kind of psych myself out sometimes because I'm like, oh man, I'm feeling bad about whatever, you know, just physically. I'm talking about physically. Uh, you have a headache or a toothache or so many things that happen, right? So you have to understand that what do I do? What do I have to do to, to get over that? So all those are a factor in developing a good musical skill, okay? So I'm going to cover three things. There's six, but I'm going to cover just three on this video. So, oh, before I forget, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Trumpeter's Podcast, come on, somebody. <laughs> We're going to do it the first and third Thursday of every month, okay? First and third Thursday, we'll have a podcast for you, okay? And so, okay, number one. Did I get, did I get that out of the way? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, number one, you must want to practice. Notice what I said. You must want to practice. It's like when I tell my son, son, are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. I can't force him to eat. Even though I may want him to eat, he has to want to eat, right? Okay. As a trumpet player, you have to want to practice. So wanting to practice is good. If you are not in a productive mode to practice in whatever session that you're in, Okay, or and I'm not talking about a session, but in the season or the session that you're in yourself at home, if you're not in the mood to do it, don't do it. Don't, because you're going to force yourself. It's like I said earlier, when I told my son, son, are you hungry? He says, no, I leave it alone. Because he'll tell me when he's hungry. Your body will tell you when you're ready. So if you want to practice your body, your ears, your body is your ears. Come on. And what you see in what you want to do when you practice. So that's important. You, it's for, so for discipline to happen, you have to want to practice, okay, daily. You need to try to do something daily. Yeah, you might feel bad, okay. If you feel bad physically, start off with some long tones. Start off with something that you know that you don't have to work a whole lot etudes or the Arbin's book or whatever you know what I mean do not physically abuse the amateur that's number two don't abuse the amateur in other words don't don't be getting your chop going up coming down sideways left we are our amateur here has so many 
areas and so many things that are misused or that we abuse because somebody says, oh yeah, play on the top, oh, play on the bottom. And we just keep on going back and forth. Whatever you do, do it in increments, okay? Do it in increments. If, if it's something that you wanna, you wanna work on buzzing, then just work on that, keeping it firm, keeping it straight, then do that, okay? So have a proper warm up for your amateur, okay? Uh, so that you could then, um, there's many uh, buzzing tools out there. I'm not gonna name them because you guys know some of them. There's lots of them out there, okay? That you can use to warm up the chops, to buzz, to buzz the chops. One thing, the first thing I will tell you for sure is get a steady buzz. Do a steady bus like that and see what would happen, okay? And number two, number three, have a specific practice go in mind. So, like, for me last week, I was working on this one particular song, and I've been practicing on fourths, right? So I play C, fourth C, C, F, and then a fifth C, down, an F. I was like, whoa. And so this song was kind of like that. Bo, B. I was like, hmm. So I, I just worked on that one phrase over and over till I had it clean the way I wanted it. I played it on the flugelhorn, the trumpet, and then muted. So I was I was going but I had a goal in mind in what to do. See, because when you set a goal, you design a certain particular uh, uh, difficulty that you're you're facing the 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 active or the tone uh, of, of what you're doing, and you're listening to that particular thing. So so you should devote that entire session that you're when you're practicing, okay, to do that. So because I said philosophy of of performance because when I practice, I practice like if I'm performing, even though I'm going through something, right? You know, body, whatever it is that I'm doing, okay, I, 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 I'm thinking about that I'm performing. So my practice is is, is very strategic, intentional. I'm sorry, intentional as well, okay, so that I could get it done right. I choose. This is just me to choose 20 minutes of practice incrementally, like throughout the day. 20 minutes. I time myself sometimes, sometimes I don't, I'm watching the clock, Not, I'm not just on it, but if I'm working on something, or I started at 2 and I'm working on it, and I see it's 2, 15, 2, 18, I stop, I'm okay, I'm good, unless I, I have an unction to keep on doing it, if I'm intentional and I keep on doing that, then I keep on doing it, but if not, I want to, and I try to choose something, every, anything, uh, my, my tempo to be anywhere from 30 to 60 BPM. Okay, that's that. That's my choice. Maybe 70. I push it up a little bit, but mostly around that area, 70 BPM. And I just I'm working on it. Click, 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 and that's what I'm doing. So just know that um, your sound. The bonus. I wanted to leave it to the end, but trumpet playing has a lot to do with sound, right? You listen to sounds, you're listening to different things, you hear something, you hear the tone, you hear the range, and you're like, that, I like that. So get your horn, play it, and know, hey, I like that sound. Like the, like the previous video that I did before this one on the podcast, on the Trumpeter's Podcast, and thank you for joining if you like it, share with somebody. If you don't like it, share with somebody else. But I'm telling you that um, when I'm playing with a guitar player, which is me and him, <clears throat> we're playing the song, The Hope of Glory with Abraham Rodriguez. Uh, I'm sorry, Abraham Talamantes. He's in Dallas now. He was here. And that makes a very interesting sound with the guitar, electric guitar, and the trumpet. And it was just so sweet to hear the sound in that, in that room. And it was a particular sound that I liked and that I wanted. And it felt good. Find your spot on the stage. 
you know, uh, and, and, and you'll hear yourself and you'll know, okay, ooh, this is, this, is, this is a good sound right here. Why? That's the sweet spot in that area, in that place. So just know, hey, I got something, do it, and don't be shy doing it. So your sound, do you want it to be round? Do you want it to be pointed? Do you want it to be heavy? You know, so think about those things. Um, but hey, thank you for joining us here at the Trumpeters um, Podcast. Hope to see you next week. Again, share with some other people. Thank you, guys. We're going to have more about this, about trumpet playing, about trumpet playing, about life, about the spirit, about the soul of the trumpet players, of trumpeters. <laughs> All right. So, hey, we'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you later. God bless you.